Hello students. Now you will take the fourth example of SSM. This is the example when a ball is a uh, ball moves in a tunnel across the earth. Fourth example. motion of a ball in a tunnel across the earth. Suppose we are having this Earth. Let this is our center. Here is a tunnel which is made across the earth, and the ball is allowed to move in this tunnel. This is the ball. Then we want to see that whether this ball will pass through this tunnel or it will have some other kind of motion. So this is the tunnel. Tunnel. And let this is the center of the tunnel and this we will have Let this is the radius of earth. This is now suppose point P and this is now point Q. And let this is uh, the point O dash. Now body moves from like this and this is now point O S and let this distance is x. This so much is x. Let r equal to radius of r. So that is O P or this is equal to O Q both O P and O Q. And let x equal to O dash P or this is also equal to O dash Q. This is what uh, the distance of this part from the center of the tunnel. O dash the center of the tunnel. Center of tunnel. Center of tunnel. So now definitely the force will act. This is now weight mg. And let uh, this this is the angle theta that it makes from this one the weight of ball equal to mg towards center O of earth and let angle 
O dash O P is equal to theta. Then definitely the angle of this O dash P O it will be equal to therefore angle O dash P O equal to 90 degree minus theta. So now if we have the component of these two, then resultant force will act towards O dash P. Restoring force F equal to minus mg cos 90 minus theta because this angle O dash P O O dash P O this is 90 minus theta so this uh, its component along this O dash P will act now to this one and perpendicular to this one will be in this way so this is the force acting on the particle so this will act towards acting towards center O dash so this F equal to minus mg and this is now sin theta so this is your mg and you take it to be theta because sin theta is very small sin theta is approximately equal to theta and we can have this minus mg into x upon r this is the right angle triangle this is the angle theta so this is now uh, sin theta perpendicular upon hypotenuse so this is now x this is now op that is r So F equal to minus mg upon R into X. This is now number one. Clearly F proportional to minus X. Hence the ball will execute. SHM in tunnel it will not go out of tunnel and now we know that F equal to minus kx this is not number two now compare comparing one and two we have this k equal to m g upon l and K we know that this is equal to m omega s by equal to mg upon m m will cancel so omega equal to square root this is r no l the square root of g upon r this is equal to 2 pi upon t equal to square root of g upon r therefore t equal to 2 pi square root of r upon g. This is not time period. And you can see that this t is equal to 84.6 minutes. It means that if the ball is dropped in the tunnel, then uh, uh, the time period will be 84.6 minutes so it will complete one uh, cycle in 84.6 minutes i have shown you the tunnel which uh, uh, does not pass to the center of the earth and given the 
that passes through the center of the earth, even that uh, this value of t will come out to be so much. So this is what that if there is a tunnel across the earth and a body or a ball is allowed to fall, uh, is, is dropped in the tunnel, then it will not go out of the tunnel, but it will execute as such a and. Uh, uh, the motion of the, uh, this uh, ball will continue with a time period of 84.6 minutes. So you all like, share and subscribe this video. Thank you.